Hello and welcome to Gapy's Apiary. Today we're gonna to be showing how we put together the Broodminder hive scale that we got unassembled. So you can get an assembled version or an unassembled version, as well as a calibrated or uncalibrated. So we did get the unassembled calibrated version, which saved us a little bit of money because these are unfortunately very expensive. So we paid a couple hundred dollars for the kit that is unassembled. We did have to provide our own hive base so the unassembled version does not come with a base to put the feet on. So we did already have a frame to put the feet on, but we did make a few modifications. So we'll be showing how we assembled it, installed it on the hives, got it set up with the Broodminder app, as well as showing some of the results that we've seen over the last couple weeks. We just got this W3 Broodminder kit. This is the scale that we're going to put under one of our hives so that we can monitor the weight to see when honey flows start and stop. And here is the hardware that it came with. And we're going to be building the base to put this on one of our hives. We already had this 2x4 base for one of our beehives that we're not currently using. So this is just going to go underneath the hive and we're going to attach our scale to this in the four corners. But first we need to route some lines along this frame so that we can run the wires for our scale. This is the screen spline that the kit came with and we're going to be using our own because I don't think they supplied quite enough for the way we're building it. So we've got this huge roll and it, as you can see it's a little bit bigger so we're going to be routing using a 5 30 seconds bit on our router. All right, we got our frame all routed. We've got a channel that goes all the way around our frame here. And we've got a notch cut out here for the wires to go to the control box. And our frame here is 22 by 13 and 3 quarters, which is just the perfect length for the amount of wire they provided for these footings. So each of these footings are numbered 1 through 4. I'm not sure if it matters which order they're put in, but the instructions do say to put 1 here, 2 here, 4 here and three goes there. Next we need to secure our panel to the frame and to do that we need to take the panel apart to get access to the holes we need to screw it in. I'm going to pre-drill some holes for the screws. Time to put the feet on. We're using a center punch to poke some holes to mark our drill holes. So it came with these plastic little footings that help protect the wire. So this is the end the wire comes out, so this helps protect it. The instructions say to not secure the screws all the way down. To secure them, then unscrew about half a turn because it will create a false reading on the sensor if it's too tight. Just right. Here's our lifetime supply of screen spine. So this spline is in here really good and tight. 
but if you don't have a really tight fit like this, you may want to put some staples over this spline so it doesn't come out. So now we've got a little excess wire here that we need to fish through and tuck away in the control box. I'll pull that out. Okay, we're pretty much ready to go. Last step is removing this tab so that the batteries actually work. Now you'll need to open up your Bees app and go to the Devices tab here on the bottom left. And eventually it should show up as a new device and you'll want to click Claim Device. Then you'll need to select Yes, Claim Device. And hit claim again. Now we need to select the apiary. I only have one apiary and it's called Gapy's Grub. And then the hive that we're going to put it on is going to be the front east hive. Select position. This is, we'll just put a scale under hive and click save. And now the device is attached to our hive. So now we're going to test out the scale, make sure it actually works. So if we click on the scale, it currently shows zero pounds and it actually does have a temperature, it looks like, and it's showing 79.9 degrees right now. So it looks like the brood main deer finally did refresh and we are reading 5.8 pounds, which is most likely the weight of our frame here. So we're going to add some more weight to it and see if the scale increases. We may not see an immediate change, but we'll try refreshing and see if that gets it a new reading. Actually, let's try sinking it. Oh, now it's reading 19.3 pounds. So we've got a craftsman bag of heavy tools on there, I think, and this little wooden board. So I think we're ready to install it. Surprised they got that much honey in there. Oof, you guys are full. So one of our two hives in the front yard swarmed a few weeks ago, and we're not positive which one it was. So I'm going to be inspecting this hive to see if I can find any sign of a queen. And that will tell me if these are the ones that swarmed or not. So one sign of a queen is looking for eggs. I don't see any on this frame. Well, I didn't see any sign of young brood in this hive, so I think there's probably no laying queen in here. And I did see a few queen cells in this hive as well, so it's possible if they didn't swarm already, they might swarm again. All right, time to put our scale on. So it's going to go at the very bottom of the hive. A little uneven so it's not quite even so we're gonna put a shim here in the front there now it's nice and even it doesn't rock when we push on it so we're gonna put our hive base back down go bees Oh, it's 
let's smoke some bees down so we don't squish so many. Back you go. All right, let's bring up the app and see what our scale says now. We'll go ahead and sync it. Oh, there it goes. It updated to 167.2 pounds. That's pretty heavy. And that top box was pretty much full of honey. And I did remove one of the frames to give them some more room so they can collect some more honey. So we'll see how they do. We've had our broodminder scale installed on our largest colony over here for the past several weeks. And I've been taking a look at the weight readings over the past week, especially because our honey flow for Blackberry just started. And that's usually the biggest honey flow of the year. But I don't know if you can tell, but our weather this week has really been terrible for the, the honey flow. We've got blackberries blooming all around us and the bees just haven't been able to collect much nectar. We've got a berry farm next door and we've got lots of wild blackberry along the river as well. So normally they bring a ton of honey in this time of year, but the weather just is not cooperating. We've only had really one or two good days this week for them to get some nectar. And those days they brought in between five and seven pounds of nectar, which is pretty good and what I would expect for this time of year. But most of the days they're not bringing in any and the hive is actually losing some weight some days, especially today, because it's been raining pretty much all day. And the bees are just aching to get out there and get some of that blackberry nectar. So the temperatures are gonna be increasing starting tomorrow and should be getting better. So hopefully they'll be able to bring in some more honey. But I wanted to show you some of the graphs that I pulled from the hive this week. Now, assuming that you've got your My Brood Minder all set up with your apiary and hives, this is what it looks like when you first log in to the MyBroodMinder.com website. We've got our apiary name here, Gapy's Grub, and these are our five hives that we have brood minders set up on. Now, to view the graphs, all you do is click on your apiary name, and it brings up all the graphs. So the first ones it shows is the weight, and I do only have one hive set up with the scale, so that's why we only see one line here. If we scroll down, we've got more graphs that show the temperature and humidity, and we've got temperature on all five hives, and we've got humidity on four hives. So one of our sensors only has a temperature and not humidity, that's why there's a difference there. And we see that the line stops here on June 15th. And that's because that's the last day that I that I synced the Broodminder sensors. Now, I don't sync these sensors as often as the weight. I've been checking the weight on the hive pretty much every day. And let's take a look. Um, we can view also different time frames. So I think seven days might be the default but you can change it to one day, three days, all different days, or you could do a custom. So I'm gonna do a custom here and choose June 11th because that's the day that we put the, the Blackberry Honey Supers on the hive. So here you can see there's this little hive tool and that's because I added a note to the graph showing that's when we added the supers to the hive. So on June 11th, around 12, 30 p.m. is when the supers went on and then you could see what the the weight of the hive was before adding the super so 131.5 and then after we added the super it was about 151.6 and now today we've got a weight of 156.9 pounds so if we look at the graph below that this is the weight change so here at the beginning, we start at zero, and then at the end today, we've got a net 
weight gain of 5.39 pounds. So 5.39 pounds during the peak honey flow period is really, really pretty bad. Um, hopefully with this better weather that's coming up, we should see much better weight gain. So I work on data and graphs all day long, and I decided to put together my own graph using the Broodminder data as well as data from our weather station. So I put together this table here showing the daily weight gain or loss, and that is based on the nightly weight that I take every evening at about 9 o'clock p.m. So every day, so June 11th, the hive weight was 152.77. So each day I took a reading and put it into this table. I also looked at the high temperature for that day and put that into the table as well. And then waved my magic graph wand and put together this graph here. So this graph shows the cumulative hive weight gain or loss. So we started out... Um, on June 11th at 152.77 pounds and over the course of the last eight or nine days we're now sitting at 156.8 so you can see what the beginning and the end weight was and this gray line here is the daily temperature high and then these bars here show how much weight gain or weight loss the hive had so all these red numbers are the weight loss. So you can see this one was the biggest weight loss, 4.7 4 pounds we lost in just one day. And the temperature high that day was 58.8, which is pretty cold. And this here, June 20th, is today's date. And we were actually colder and rainier today than any day this, this whole week. And I'm surprised we only lost 1.1 pound today. I would have expected that to be a lot more. Um, but our biggest day here was 7 pounds on June 15th. And we had a high that day of 78.1. And then this day here, the temperature was actually up to 88 degrees. But the hive brought in 6.6 .6 pounds. And I think that was a little bit lower than this day because blackberry was just starting to flower at the beginning of this week here so that's probably why they didn't bring in more um, but if we see these high temperatures coming up here in the next few days we could see some much higher weight gains so i hope you find this useful if you have any questions let me know thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.